I will personally kill Mazin Namdi Kano if federal government tries to release him. Asiri Dokubo. Hmm. Asiri Dokubo again with killing of Mazin Namdi Kano and all that. But who is that Asiri Dokubo to be warning the federal government? Who is Asiri Dokubo to tell the federal government what to do and what not to do? If Mazin Namdi Kano is not found guilty, he's going to be released. And nobody is going to stop that. If Mazin Namdi Kano case be a problem, <laughs> make you go rest, may not go die, you know, uh, die for nothing. Enough of this. All the time, Mazin Namdi Kano, IPOP members and all that, at least this guy have to be investigated. We don't even know those who are sponsoring whatever they are sponsoring in the Southeast uh, region. Just to make sure that uh, Mazin Namdekano and IPOP member comes out, you know, in in a black, in the black, a uh, black book, because what is happening in the southeast right now is really very, very surprising and shocking. We all understand. We all understand that southeasterners, they are known with their business strength, not killing people, not to talk of killing people and beheading people. Beheading? That one is not enough. Killing a pregnant woman and innocent children. So, you see, all these swans, these people, they talk, they talk, they talk. Make Kuna watch this Asiri Dokubo very carefully. Because we don't know what is going on in the Southeast. You see, like what I always say, that the same people who do not want the the success the success of uh, the Biafra nation are the same people who are attacking people in the southeast. They just want to they just want the uh, international community to see uh, uh, IPOP members as terrorists. Record that Nigerian government already proscribed you know uh, IPOP members as a terrorist organization, but that will never do them. They actually want international communities to see. IPOP members as such too. If you can recall what happened the other, the other time, it was really a, a very big drama when uh, one uh, uh, report was, was circulating on the social media that the UK government has uh, uh, prescribed IPOP member as a terrorist organization and all that. This matter never reached how many minutes Nigerian government don't react. The UK government can't even they tell US, they make them you know, take example from UK, made them ban IPOP members, you know, and they proscribe IPOP members as a terrorist organization. Now, UK uh, government can't answer Nigerian government, say, I beg, that thing will not see so. Not be we talk more. We don't know who go from that information. We did not proscribe uh, indigenous people of Biafra as a terrorist organization. Maybe they can't rest. That time, Nigerians can't talk left, right, and center. Can't they talk? So you should say Nigerian government hand not did this thing when they circulate on social media. Or you should say their hand not even they waiting they happen for Southeast region. Because come to take off it, Nigerian soldiers when they Southeast, Nigerian uh, uh, police, DSS, when full Southeast, all these unknown gunmen continue to cause havoc every now and then. And then they walk out freely. Oh. That is the most surprising thing about it. We go just hear say, all these unknown gunmen, they don't attack. They don't do this. We know they hear say, they apprehend these people. Then the next thing you go see, say soldiers, they go Congo unleash, they unleash their anger on innocent people in the Southeast. They burn people's houses. They kill the ones when they feel kill and all that. Honestly, the issue in the Southeast is really very, very disturbing. It seems that the Southeasterners are having so much enemies. You understand? And their leaders, they are there talking, ranting and all that. Instead of them, you know, to uh, conduct what they call independent investigation, find out those who are attacking uh, Southeasterners, this kind of investigation, you don't use outsiders. Instead, you go out, you bring foreigners or people from Igbo, Igbo, in fact, Igbo themselves, you understand? Let them do the job. 
because the way it is, so many things and uh, so many persons want to crumble that region. If they don't sit upright, hmm, if they don't sit upright, God forbid, now this unknown gunman is coming after their leaders, one after the other. Make Kuna sit up. Oh. And Asiri Dokubo, we don't know what Asiri Dokubo actually have with uh, IPOB members and Mazin and the Kano that he has refused to rest. You know, say so that they talk, say, fly when not they hear words. They follow cops, they enter, grief, they go cover up together. Now they won't go take end. The same Asiri Dokubo who said is is uh, into uh, the agitation for Biafra to restore Biafra nation. The same person who is attacking, you know, agitators, left, right, and center. This is really very surprising. Is there anything that Asiri Dokubo is afraid of that Mazin Namdekano will come out, he will let the cats out of the bags? Is that why he actually wants him dead? Because this is not the first, not the second, not the third. In fact, anyways, Asiri Dokubo we we utter out about Mazin Namdekano is about death and persecution, execution, and all that. But it doesn't work like that. We know that our judiciary system has been compromised, but we still have Nigerians who can speak. You cannot just execute somebody like that. Let the court decide. So Nigerians are waiting and watching to see what court is going to, you know, come out with in this Mazin Namdekanu's case. So Asri Dokubo should hold on and uh, wait for the court to decide. I am dropping it here. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much for coming out here. Bye for now.